I had no idea that the GPS also meant it records the speed input of wherever the GoPro is. I knew it had a GPS function, but I just think that is absolutely insane. Now, as soon as I edited that into my video, what I really wanted to do was compare it to what I normally run, and a bunch of other people, you know, thousands of other people use it, it's the Dynamite GPS. Now you see, it's at zero, it's not zeroed out because we're gonna be looking at the, the change of speed and we're gonna see how much more accurate this is to the GoPro or the GoPro to the GPS. We'll certainly see. So now, hopefully my little speedometer thingy is right here that you guys can see. Um, and let's hope for the best. Let's see what it's like. So let's see what speed we're looking at here. 39? You know, that's pretty good regarding that, being that this is meant for the track. I have a 1650 kV motor in here. It's the original Castle Big Block. And this is really set up for track. Hopefully that it runs the coolest, cleanest, and has the most torque, and that's really what I want. That's kind of why I'm not doing 50, 60, you know. I have my, I have my other cards to go fast with. But certainly, I'm really happy. You know, I, I really love what I bought. You know, this GoPro Hero 7, it's absolutely insane. You know, we're certainly gonna see. You know, and there's a bunch of other inputs and layouts to add on it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Oh, my thumb was cut out. But yeah, thumbs up.